Okay, so the first thing that we are going to start with is setting up our Premiere Pro to basically be in the correct mode. Now to do this, we're gonna click on new project at the top and then we're gonna give it a name. Now the name is gonna be on the top here and we're gonna give it a name. Um, this is gonna be example project. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to change the location that it's going to be stored in. Now, if you do want to change it, if you click on this project location here and then click on choose location, what I would do is I'd make sure that you save it then somewhere uh, in your documents so that you know where it is going to be found. Now, obviously, your teacher can go through this with you. Um, and if you are going to teach it, go through it with you and you do it on your own, just make sure you are saving it into the assets folder that you are going to make. Now, once you've done the name and you've saved it in the correct uh, folder, click on the create button and then just wait a few seconds. Now, although I'm doing this on a Mac, it's exactly the same on a PC. Um, the only difference is the um, options here look slightly different on the Mac version as opposed to the PC. The other thing I should mention, I'm using Adobe 2023. So it's Premiere 2023 here. So if I just go into the help for a second, um, let me just double check. Yeah, it is 2023 that I'm using here. Okay, so the first thing that I typically do is I set up my workspace. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this button at the top here, which is workspaces, and I'm gonna put it into the essentials view. Now, by doing that, it's gonna move some things around for me, and what hopefully you'll notice is you'll have the media bin then on the left-hand side, followed by a few things at the top here. You'll also have these uh, on the top as well, other settings that we're gonna look at. And on the bottom there, you can have your timeline as well as some tools that you're gonna use. Now, when we actually import media in a moment, you'll see the um, media will come up in the main section here. Now, you don't have to use the essentials tab. You can use pretty much any tab you want, but I like using the essentials as it gets everything up. So before you go any further, can you make sure everything is set up in this sort of way so that you've got um, your workspace ready set to go.